Good day, I am Bonge Gaklama with the Your Midday News Updates. MUT students call for talks with management after campus shutdown. Florence Razinani rejects claims that she is implicated in VBS scandal. Lawrence Mwebi sets to defend himself at Mkoro Inquiry. A student at Mangosuti University of Technology have called on management to hold discussions with student leaders instead of shutting down campus. Management made the decision to shut down the university on Tuesday. Students were instructed to vacate all campuses and residences by the end of the day. Violent protests took place at the university on Monday. Students are demanding better living conditions and solutions to their challenges with financial aid funding. Former VB Executive Mayor Florence Razinani says she will not accept any responsibility for the 300 million that was illegally invested by her municipality into VBS Mutual Bank. Razinani was named in the Great Bank Heist report complied by the South African Reserve Bank as having received 300,000 as a Christmas gift from the bank's directors. She resigned last year after the ANC instructed her and other mayors in involved to step down. Head of the Serious Commercial Crimes Unit advocate Lawrence Mwebe is today expected to take the stand to defend himself at the inquiry investigating his fitness to hold office. Justice Yvonne Mohoro is chairing the inquiry which is also considering the conduct of Deputy Prosecution's boss Nomgobo Jiba. After four weeks of often damning evidence against him, the embattled state advocates will have an opportunity to address the cases against him. And Avezi has more on your sports news. Thank you, Bongera, and let's get into it. Dennis Onyango Blanda cost Mamelo the Sundowns three points as they play to a one all draw with Pulguane City. The three points could have seen Downs being neck on neck with the log leaders beat the Spurs, who they will face on Saturday. Musimane handed striker Emiliano Tade his first start since signing from Amazulu during the window transfer period in January. Downs found the back of the net through, through Temba Zwane, still on PSL, Orlando Pirates will face Supersport United to keep their league catch on at Orlando Stadium. Sri Lanka spinner Akila Danajaya will return to boost Sri Lanka for the one-day international series against South Africa after being cleared by the International Cricket Council of an illegal action. The five-match series starts in Johannesburg on 3 March and Danajaya was on Tuesday named in the tourist squad of 17 players. Danajaya was suspended from bowling due to suspect action following Sri Lanka's first test against England. And lastly, in the UEFA Champions League, Liverpool and Bayern Munich play to a goalless draw in Anfield. The host posed the greater threat but were wasteful in front of goals or kept out by the Bayern's defence. The second leg will take place at the Allianz Arena on 13 March. Liverpool, if they can score, it will give them a huge advantage with away goals counting as double in the event of a draw to proceed to the quarterfinals of the competition. That's it from me, Ayanda Vesey, and the sports team. Goodbye. Now for your traffic and weather updates. Looking at traffic, traffic lights not working at Jellico Avenue in Rosebank, Oxford Road. There's a crash after the Marlborough Drive exit in Lindbrook Park, M3 Road. Slow moving traffic is expected. Traffic lights not working at Peter Road and Honeydew, Payas, Nordier Drive. There's a police checkpoint in Midrand Allendale Road. Expect delays on the ramp to the N1 southbound. Moving to weather updates. In Johannesburg, it is still experiencing a warm weather condition at a minimum of 12 and maximum of 27 degrees Celsius. And in Pretoria, it is still hot at a minimum of 13 and maximum of 28 degrees Celsius. That's it from the traffic and weather. Back to the news desk.
that's it for me and the rest of the JVTV News team. Goodbye.